Yeah, it is. Um, I don't know how long it'll take. And I mean, doing it on stream, it will take a lot longer because I'm obviously talking. I mean, I'm not being slow, but equally, well, you know, in, in a couple of hours, I could have easily gone uh, to at least an extra couple of steps. But it's, um, as I say, I mean, no hurry. And it, it's fun to talk to people such as yourself that, you know, can come along and, and take a look and see what's going on. The, yeah, the um, differential and the gearbox. The gearbox is the fun one. I know when I did the Scania, as I was saying right at the start of the thing, um, I rebuilt that gearbox about six times because you've got to get the right gear in the right place. And although all the gears are actually sort of unique, it's still quite easy to get the right, the wrong gear in a particular place, and it will fit. Um, but uh, as you're putting it together, but then when you get the side frames on, the shifter won't move, uh, or it will, it will, the shifter will move, but it won't quite mesh. The mesh is wrong because it's the wrong gear. And, I know I rebuilt I rebuilt the other one about six times. Hopefully I can get this one right first time. And one of the things I'm going to have to I've got I'm using I will be using ball bearings. Actually, I think in the um, I think it says for the gearbox you shouldn't actually use ball bearings. I can't actually remember. I shall have to look that up before I use them. I, th I think it recommends. For the gearbox that you actually do use the the bronze bushes that they supply uh, the um, the roller bearings go on things like the wheels and the the, the axles and things like that but I'll actually have to check because I can't I can't actually remember I, I, I do recall it it's saying somewhere it's a good idea not to uh, use but uh, roller bearings in in one particular place and the gearbox can be the only place I can think of where that would be the case but I'm not sure uh, I'm also not sure whether I got these for this or for uh, for this model or for uh, something else so again I'm gonna have to count them and check uh, but I know I, I put them on the Scania and things are a lot smoother with these than with the just the plain metal bearings Right, um, I am waffling now, but there is, we are on page, well we've just fin finished page 5 if you like, we've got to come back to do the um, uh, the servo assemblies, uh, but we've, we've, we've done one page, shall we say, and um, there is, well, the, the build finishes, where's the last build page? I suppose the build finishes, let's be generous, on page 27. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and, then, and then, it, then it goes on to describe the the things like the, uh, uh, the remote control of the fifth wheel unlocking and uh, some of the optional parts, which is a wiring kit for lighting and everything else. Looking at that, there's just miles of wire and circuit boards and things I'm kind of looking at that and thinking why is it so big because if you want it to if you want it to apply scale to the to the um, cab for example trying to get all of that stuff in just couldn't do um, I think uh, I might sort of try if I can do my own lighting kit at some point it's something I keep meaning to, to do for the other truck but I'm sure I could make it smaller. I don't need that. I'm not that keen. And the sound is good. Uh, and sound sound does make a difference uh, with with some of these things. But I'm not that interested in sound. So the sound kit's not uh, the the sound element of the kit, which takes up a, mat, a fair amount of space because of the speaker. I'm not fantastically interested in. Um, so maybe I can do you know an Arduino or something. I can do some lighting uh, a lot. A lot smaller. Oh, I see. This kit even has a reversing beeper on it. Well, I suppose that's. Uh... Hmm. 
yeah. Anyway, lots more to look at, lots more fun to be had in doing this. It really is kind of a fun build. I, I certainly enjoyed the two that I've already built. It's 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 a real fun. So I will I will be carrying this normally I stream Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Uh, I'm not going to be streaming on Monday. Uh, the, the next Monday there is a family event, so I'm, I'm not going to be streaming. Oh, it's extremely unlikely I'll be streaming. Uh, keep an eye out on Twitter. If I am going to stream, I will put it out on Twitter, but I think it's unlikely. So the next stream will be Wednesday when we will carry on with this. And that will be at 7 pm UK time which is 1800 hours GMT. If anybody who's watching this would like to see the start, it should, the rod should be available on Twitch. If not, check it out. It will, it will go up onto YouTube on tomorrow night, 9 p.m. tomorrow night. Uh, the recording of this will be available on YouTube as well. Which reminds me, all those years ago when I built the Scania, I recorded it. I must get those on YouTube as well. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Thank you, uh, Volksen, uh, for, for chatting. Uh, hope I'll see you on the next stream and everybody else. Bye for now.